see what's going on. Super excited for this video because we are talking about low porosity hair. And there's so many of you out there that are low porosity and there's so many challenges with it as well. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some ingredients and techniques that you need to be doing to help your hair that you will see results instantly because it's really not as complex as you think it is. But on top of that, I have low porosity hair, so of course I'm gonna share what works for me. So stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, what exactly is low porosity hair? So it is a hair cuticle that has very closed cuticles. So these cuticles are sealed, they are not lifted up, and it is lipophilic. Meaning low porosity hair loves oil, but it does not like water. It needs water, but it still doesn't like it. Now the issue with this for low porosity hair, the biggest challenge is dryness because you have those tight cuticles, it's kind of difficult to get moisture within the hair, AKA water within the hair, right? But it's so interesting because high porosity hair, they have the opposite issue. They can get water in or moisture in, but they can't keep it in. They can't retain it because their cuticles are lifted. So let's talk about some techniques and some ingredients that you can do now to see some changes. So how to really know if you have low porosity hair? Of course, you can do the strand test and you put you know, your hair in the water and if it floats, it's low porosity, if it sinks, it's high porosity. Uh, another way you can do is to see how fast it takes for your hair to get wet. If your hair takes a while for it to get wet, more than likely you are low porosity. If your hair takes a long time to dry, more than likely you are low porosity. So those are just some key indicators. Also, low porosity hair doesn't really get as frizzy very often. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is that using watery, liquidy light moisturizers over cream-based moisturizers. Now, if you already have a cream-based moisturizer that your hair loves, stick with it. But if it doesn't work and you're looking for some alternatives, I would recommend this idea because the more liquidy the formula is, the higher the moisture, the higher the water content in that formulation. Now, of course, water alone is not enough because, you know, you've probably seen it. You spray water on your hair and you get little water beads just chilling on the cuticle, not really going in, just sitting on top of the cuticle. That's because of the lipophilic nature of low porosity hair. So I would recommend this utilizing conditioner inside of your water spritz mixer thing that you have in your spray bottle. Mix some conditioner in there because when you have water mixed with some conditioning surfactants, it actually makes water a lot easier to absorb into the hair. So not only are you getting better water absorption into the cuticle, but the conditioning surfactants, which happen to be more lipophilic, are going to stay on the outer part of the cuticle to help protect that moisture that just got absorbed into the hair. In addition, it's going to soften the cuticle but make it more manageable for you. Okay, and number two, I would say consider using humectants in your regimen like aloe vera juice. I think it is amazing and many of you guys do as well because not only is it a humectant, but it's also acidic. So it's gonna be ideal for our hair. So it's going to soften the hair, bring shine to the hair, and moisturize the hair. And if you're looking for this ingredient, I would say make sure it's at least within the first four or five ingredients on the ingredient list to make sure that you're getting enough of it in your hair. Also, look for mucilage like humectants, like flaxseed gel, marshmallow root, slippery elm, because even though they are very gooey and good for curl definition, they're also humectants and they're also going to draw moisture to the hair and they contain polysaccharides. And polysaccharides genuinely give you a nice film forming moisturizing layer around the cuticle. And the third thing I'm gonna say is consider investing in a humidifier, especially if you have low porosity hair because that heat is going to help to open the cuticles just a little bit, not crazy, but just enough to get some additional moisture in there. Or you can consider doing overnight deep conditioning treatment. This is something that I did a lot Early on in my hair care regimen, I would legit go to bed with my conditioner on, put a shower cap on, and then my scarf on top of that. And the heat from my body was just giving me this really cool deep treatment overnight. And now I would just rinse it out the next morning. So I would say that's another great tip as well. Okay, so now to what I use. So when it comes to moisturizing my hair, I wanna say this. I moisturize my hair at least two or three times a week. Some of you guys think that you, know, you have to Find this amazing moisturizer that keeps your hair moisturized for the entire week. You don't have to. Another example I gave recently in my comments was like, imagine if you just put lotion on your skin once a week. 
by day two or three, your skin is gonna be ashy, it's gonna be dry, it's gonna be gray, it's gonna be like, okay, homegirl, where's the lotion? Same thing with our hair. So if you have to moisturize your hair multiple times a week, that is okay. Do whatever your hair needs you to do, okay? So number one, my moisture spritz is water in the Aussie Moist Avocado Conditioner. I literally just use like maybe two or three squirts and then I fill the rest up with water and that's it. I mix that up and I spray my hair. That is like my liquid moisturizer. If I have a need for a creamy based moisturizer, then I'll use the Aussie Moist Leave-In Conditioner, which is kind of very watery-like, but it's amazing for moisture. And the Aussie Moist, I believe it's called the Frizz Taming Cream. I'll have the picture for you guys, but that's another great moisturizer. And last but not least, the Kuza Black Castor Oil Moisturizing lotion i love those like those are like my top three moisturizers currently and of course i either seal with hair grease or i'll seal with like a diy oil that i have here at home so yeah that's what i do so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this simple video on low karate hair you guys learned something i have a question for you before i even say my question i just want to say you guys are amazing in the comment box below because you guys are actually helping each other out. And this is why I do the Q&A because when I ask you guys questions, you guys share so much wealth of knowledge that's helping so many other people. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So the question today is, what is your favorite product for your low porosity hair? And for those who may not have favorite product, what is your biggest challenge with having low porosity hair? Is it the dryness? Is it the tangles? Is it the lack of shine? Like what is it so we can definitely help you guys out? And I look forward to joining the conversation as usual. Thank you guys for getting the Curly Girls Got to Hair Care ingredients. I love you guys. You guys are just amazing. I'm so happy that it's super helpful. And thank you guys who have been signing up for consultations for your hair care line. I'm so excited to work with you. For more information about that, I'll have a special link for you below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure notifications are on. I'm preparing to do an amazing video on coconut oil. And then after that, another video on hair growth. You are not gonna wanna miss these videos, so make sure notifications are on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.